all my youtube viewers i sincerely thank each and every one for your remarkable comments and seamless motivation for me to do more videos uh, today's video is going to be about max planck the founder of quantum mechanics i can say the father of quantum mechanics though heisenberg is known as the father of uh, quantum mechanics still only from max planck equation e is equal to h nu the era of quantum mechanics actually started so all this started from black body radiation what is a black body uh, something that is you know because of the color of the body like the black it was absorbing heat radiations of all wavelengths and it was emitting heat radiations of all wavelengths means the black body was acting as a perfect emitter and a perfect absorber this was fascinating max planck that he started doing experiments on this black body and there were other physicists who had given various laws of the energy spectrum emitted by the black body radiation the spectrum was supposed to be like very symmetrical and all the peaks they assumed to lie at the same point which did not happen so if you see the stefan's law the weyes law and the rayleigh jeans law they they were the laws who actually which was derived from the energy spectrum of black body radiation and every law had a small flaw if you see the stefan's law it was explaining only about the intensity of radiation and temperature it did not bother to explain about the wavelength then if you take again wayne's law it was applicable only for shorter wavelength region and not for longer wavelength region because the actual energy spectrum of black body radiation all the peaks did not lie in a central maximum peak line it was shifting towards the shorter wavelength region and the distribution of the curve was also not uniform when all these you know kind of uh, unexplained logics were there now came our uh, hero max planck so he had been like in from his childhood days he had been like yearning to study science and his back tutor was teaching him both maths and astronomy his fathers forefathers and other relatives were law and judges in the uh, in the city called munich in germany so from his childhood days his interest towards science made him to study more on physical laws so as and as and when he was studying physics he was also studying music he he was he had actually conquered the art of playing piano the cello and uh, uh, various other musical instruments with so much ease and interest that he conquered music like anything you basically i say that all physicists have this music sense as come we know the the great albert einstein he was also a very good musician so physics and music again maybe the next video we can say what is the correlation but coming to max planck in his childhood days he was very bright and then he finished his graduation he defended his thesis twice his thesis was based on the mathematical implications that a heat wave can have and he spoke about the thermodynamics he had lots of mathematical calculations which nearly served i will say thousands and thousands of people who are studying quantum mechanics now after max planck period so max planck his early life was he started his career at the university of uh, munich and then he got a job in berlin and for some years he worked in new york when he came back to berlin there was an institute called the kaiser wilhelm this kaiser wilhelm uh, institute at berlin naturally served the proper purpose of where scientists many renowned scientists were working under max planck one of them was again albert einstein they were talking about this quantum theory max planck's quantum theory where it says that the black body radiations are having a energy e is equal to h nu so light is said to be composed of small small energy packets called quanta so this was a quantum theory which fetched the nobel prize in 1918 and albert einstein again uh, in 1921 he got the nobel prize for the theory of relativity so the quantum mechanics albert einstein considered max planck to be one of his mentor also so all this started from berlin and it, the uh, the quantum mechanics era slowly started spreading across the countries and more and more physicists started working on this quantum theory 
in that period we had the world, first world war and the second world war for which the university was like actually used by some of the minority ministers to prepare a uranium uh, uranium project and some it was even this berlin uh, will the berlin institute was also like you know useful for some nuclear fission reactions the history says all these are aside but this kaiser wilhelm university at berlin was further after the second world war was named as max planck institute for physics this max planck association had a big umbrella where number of such universities i will say max planck institutes started slowly emerging uh, you have max planck institute of astrophysics now currently if you go and browse there are 81 institutes 81 universities under max planck under various arts humanities and sciences but originally the physics institute had numerous other branches of physics having the same max planck institute at various locations of europe so uh, in in the max planck institute of physics in the max planck institute of plasma physics the max planck institute of particle physics the max planck institute of astrophysics and the super terrestrial uh, you know extraterrestrial physics all these and semiconductor physics these were land these were like was the origin or the landing place where other other projects of way of uh, technological importance started originating so these institutes even you know had several other eminent uh, physicists also so like likewise today we know about the higgs bosons particles so again the large hadron collider one of the largest particle accelerator it had the theoretical concept which was derived by julius west julius west was the uh, director for 50 years in this max planck institute of physics he had been taking up the max planck uh, you know quantum theory and the calculations and the manifestations of his theory only is now what the large hadron collider so such popular such demanding this max planck institute of physics is always my uh, my dream i keep telling all my students it is one of the popular institute for physics which every physicist studying in any corner of the world should be dreaming of you know studying a phd degree or a post doctorate graduate from this max planck institute of physics know about more about max planck his planck's theory as i already said it earned a nobel prize it also had other implications where heisenberg's the same the same uh, i will say in the same era werner heisenberg had discovered the uncertainty principle where he says that the position and momentum cannot be measured simultaneously for any proton or electron we cannot determine the position and velocity at the same time precisely that is what the principle says and again slowly after 50 to 100 years even this max planck institute of physics is standing so renowned there are some theories there are some uh, physicists who had now said that werner heisenberg's uncertainty principle is proving to be false so these are the different types of research every day evolving in physics and that is the beauty of physics with all this note i sign you off max planck institute of physics is the most 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 reputed universities and the ancient universities standing for 100 years showing its popularity for the great great physics that we used to study in the textbooks thank you all thank you so much for watching my video